This is Inspire from Universe. It's a student special channel. In the United Kingdom, almost all the places are well connected with trains, but the tickets are highly expensive. So, many prefer to travel by these buses since it's highly affordable, comfortable, and it connects every nook and corner in the UK. Friends, Let's go to Stonehenge, which is 88 miles from central London. Stonehenge is a historical monument. Archaeologists believe that it was constructed between 3000 to 2000 BC for sacrificial ceremonies. It is also believed with various evidences that the massive stone structure was a burial ground and a monument to the dead. Each vertical stone is 13 feet tall, 7 feet wide and 25 times heavy. Magnificent, right? The site and its surroundings were added to UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites in 1986. Friends, have you ever heard about June solstice and December solstice? Or summer solstice and winter solstice? The summer solstice occurs when one of the Earth's poles has its maximum tilt towards the sun. During the summer solstice, the Earth's maximum axial tilt towards the sun is 23.4 degrees. Therefore, on the day of the summer solstice, the sun appears at the hemisphere's highest altitude in the sky. Hence, this will be the longest day of the year with almost 17 hours of daytime. The summer solstice marks the official start of the summer season. In the northern hemisphere, the summer solstice occurs any day between June 20th to 22nd and in the southern hemisphere, it occurs any day between December 20th to 22nd. Friends, we should keep in mind that the countries like Australia and New Zealand in the southern hemisphere have winter from June to August and summer from December to February. When the summer solstice happens in one hemisphere, it's the winter solstice in the opposite hemisphere. Because that's the day when one of the poles are leaning farthest away from the sun. Hence, we have the shortest day and the longest night on that date. The winter solstice marks the official start of the winter season. Are you wondering what's the connection between the solstice and Stonehenge? Well, they both have a strong connection. It's surprising to know that the stones in Stonehenge are carefully aligned with the sun and the moon. Hence, if we stand inside this monument, we can clearly see the sunrise and the sunset during these two auspicious days. Historians suspect the significance of Stonehenge is directly linked to the tracking annual solar cycles. It's believed that for thousands of years, both solstices are celebrated at Stonehenge. Even today, during the summer and winter solstices, thousands of visitors around the world gather at Stonehenge overnight to see the sunrise and sunset. It's guaranteed that you'd get into the festive mood here with the great atmosphere where thousands of people in ethnic dress celebrating with bonfire, songs and dances. In fact, the United Kingdom's national television broadcasts live the sunrise and the sunset during these days. It's considered even as a spiritual place by many. Friends, I believe this video is interesting to you. In my next video, we shall see another interesting place in England. Thank you for watching Inspire from Universe, friends. Kindly watch, subscribe and share. Until I meet you soon, take care and bye friends.